What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, Rangers Celtic game, the old firm's currently on TV right now as I'm recording this, so you'll probably hear it in the background. Uh, Ibrox is absolutely bouncing as you'd expect, first full house uh, for an old firm in like what, over a year and a half, so Ibrox is well and truly bouncing. Uh, we're 50 minutes in and it's still 0-0, but uh, both teams have had the goal scoring chances. Kent hit the post. Um, Edward just absolutely missed a sitter. To be being honest, Celtic could have been one 0 up in the first couple of minutes. Alfie could have been what Alfie could have put a ball in the back of the net. It went inches over the bar in like the first two minutes of the game. But uh, yeah, so it's a very very interesting game going on today. So we've got the old firm. Then we've got to go shopping. Because uh, some last minute plans, Amy and Kyle are now coming up for dinner. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot going on today. But, oh man. What a tackle! Let's go, Rangers, come on! Um, first things first, though, old firm. So, hopefully, this is a good start to the day and a good start to the vlog. Hopefully, the next clip will be me celebrating a Rangers goal. So, let's go. Yes! Let's go, Rangers! <laughs> Fuck yes! Big Phil Hollander! Let's go! Come on! For we will be mastered by you! Let's go, Rangers! Joe Hart who? Joe Hart who? Let's go, man. We shall not be moved. We shall not. We shall not be moved. Not by the heads, the hearts of the Celtic. We shall not be moved. Oh, man. Good morning, Eribo in the box. Good overlap. Oh, Alfie. Once again, the champions have done it. Rangers won, Celtic nil. Fantastic goal from that man right there. The Swede. Get it up, yeah. Acting like he was coming into this old firm going to win it like nothing just because we had a few bad games. There's one thing you don't underestimate about Rangers. It's going into an old firm. Let's get it. Oh, step and play machine. Okay, right. But on a serious note, uh, old firm done. The day, doesn't matter what else happens today now, it's going to be an amazing day. It's, all, it's always the way when Rangers win an old firm. It doesn't matter, like, my house could burn down, it doesn't matter, Rangers won the old firm. We're good. But, um, yeah, so now, only thing we've got to do is, uh, as I said, last minute plans, Amy and Kyle are coming round for dinner, so I need to jump down to the shop, uh, get in the stuff for making dinner tonight. Uh, and then we're going to go, so I'm going to quickly grab my bag, get my wallet and everything like that, then we're going to go head to Lidl, so let's go. Oh man, tell you what, I thought it was warm in the flat, uh, so I've got shorts, t-shirt, sunglasses, and obviously the hat as well. Um, it's not actually as hot as I thought outside, I think it's just this, I think it's just part and uh, the sun being covered with the cloud now. And the sun coming in through the windows just made it feel even hotter. It's muggy, like it's really humid, really muggy outside, but it's not. Holy crap, it's warm, it's just, uh, yeah, sticky. Uh, so, yeah, sunglasses are off, but oh man. Uh, so, yeah, I think for dinner tonight, we're doing spicy men's tacos. Um, what else are we doing? Spicy mince tacos. Uh, 
pull my fries. And I'll, I think I'll do just tacos with some pull me fries. Uh, I might get some chicken or something in case, I don't know, like they might want chicken in a wrap instead of mince. Might want to mix it up, I don't know. But I uh, might get some chicken as well, do that too. But I think I might need to get a bigger frying pan. Last time I cooked mince for just me, it was overflowing out the frying pan. So my frying pan is tiny, so I may need to look to see if I can get a bigger frying pan as well. I don't know, we'll see. So I ran into one issue in Lidl, right? They had absolutely everything I need. Except the one key thing for making soft shell tacos, which is the soft shell tacos. Uh, they had the mince, they had the spices, they had absolutely everything but the soft shell. So I'm debating do a cut left and go into farm foods and see if they've got the wraps or do I walk all the way up past mine to Tesco to walk back when it's a pretty small Tesco and they've been having issues getting their deliveries in uh, you know what, farm foods is right there I think I'm just going to go left and uh, go to farm foods and just hope that they have wraps in so, worst case scenario confirmed, Farm Foods didn't have any, so I'm now going to walk up to the Tesco as well. <sighs> I'd already bloody been there if I never went into Farm Foods. That's annoying, but uh, yeah, that's what it is. My debate now is just to go into the house and drop all this stuff off first. But if I do, I'm probably not going to want to go out again, so... No, I think we're probably better just going up to Tesco. Because uh, I don't think there's anywhere else about here, apart from Tesco, that will have them in. So, uh, and if Tesco don't have them, then genuinely my only other option is all the way back down to town to Sainsbury's and the big Tesco superstore next to the train station. Uh, and I really don't want to be doing that just for wraps, you know what I mean? My day may have just been saved. Um, as I'm walking up to Tesco, I forgot they've built a new garage here, which is a Starbucks, Cinnabon, which is coming soon apparently, and a spa. Now you'd think they've just built the garage, new spa in there, they'd have it. So since this one's on the go, and it could save me another 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, I'm going to pop into the spa and see if they've got it. Fingers crossed, they do. Okay, so a little bit of a fail, but a success at the same time. Uh, spa, again, didn't have wraps in, and I did ask, and there, and they were saying, yeah, no, everywhere about here has had issues getting deliveries in, so uh, they don't think anywhere really. Oh, why is my eyes so Oh, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, um, they said that everywhere really had, had troubles getting like bread and that kind of thing in. So they did have some white pita bread in. Gave Amy and Kyle a quick call. Their friend went and pita bread instead. So I think what we'll do is pita bread uh, you should really want to fill it out a bit more. Thankfully, I picked up some chicken as well. So I might just do both and then let them choose whatever one they fancy to fill it out. <sighs> so we're finally back in the flat. Uh, I'm kind of tidying up, half getting the kitchen ready to make dinner while watching the flank uh, because the amount of drama and news and everything that just dropped in the Call of Duty world right now uh, with roster mania going on because it's that time of year the chance is done uh, everyone's basically finished on their one plus ones unless they've been traded or moved already at a certain point at which point I believe they'll still be under contract but it is getting crazy so uh, yeah for me now it's just a case of tidying up the kitchen getting the kitchen sorted so that I can actually cook dinner um,
and then we'll see where we go from there because as it stands uh, I've got a fair bit to do in Amy and Kate I think I'll leave in theirs in about half an hour give or take so we've probably got about 45 minutes to an hour uh, before they get here I don't know if they're bringing Aries or not I think Amy said they're going to leave Aries at home um, so I don't know, we'll see, because he's had a mad one running about the caravan and everything all weekend. So they might leave him at home, uh, just so he can rest, but we'll see. Anyway, time to get the rest of the kitchen sorted and, uh, yeah, make sure the flat's nice and tidy. Uh, other than that, I think... We're good to go. So Amy and Kyle are here now. We've already done the mince, but uh, Amy's just helping out with the holy movie now. Uh, we're going to get dinner, so... I think we're going to overdose ourselves on holy movie though. But... There's no such thing as overdosing with holy movie when it comes to us three, I think. But, uh, yeah. I'm excited for this. It's, it's weird. It's, it's Kyle's first time in the flat. But I was saying this to Amy earlier, I'm still, like, I'm used to my mum and Alan being here now, but I'm still in the mindset of Amy lives like 400 miles away, so I can't just invite her. But it's like, I know, so it's still kind of weird having them here, but it's nice. Yeah, it's nice to Weird you having to host Alan rather than You're hosting me as well, yeah. So I'm so used to being at yours as well, I suppose, but, yeah. yeah. Okay, right, bye guys, bye. Uh, never mind, they're gone. Um, but yes, so Amy and Kyle, gone now. Uh, that was actually a really, really nice dinner. I um, really enjoyed it. And plenty of leftovers, so that will do me uh, for the next couple of days, probably. Uh, I'm alright with that as well though, because that's like low, that's quite low fat mince. That's like the I think it was like five percent or three percent fat or something like that, which uh, compared to most mints, I believe is quite low because most of the ones in there were like fifteen or twenty percent fat. So yeah, but um, so I'm gonna take 10-15 minutes to chill out. Uh, actually, I need to plug in my other monitor again on the PC. Come here, where are your cable? There we go. Boom. And, uh, yeah. Take a little bit of time to chill. Relax. There we go. And, uh, just <sighs> I'm a food cell. Because I mean, to be fair, we ate quite a bit. That means. Um, thought I'd bought enough. Turns out I bought way too much. Um, so, as I said, there's plenty that will do me there over the next couple of days, but oh God damn, I am stuffed. <laughs> Um, but it was nice, very, very nice. So it was nice having Amy and Kyle up as well. I mean, like I said, it was very weird Amy and Kyle being up here because it was like, I'm so used to either being at theirs, because obviously I lived there for like three, four months, I go down there and, uh, to see them normally. Uh, but at the same time, it's like I'm so used to being hundreds of miles away from them and not really seeing them unless I'm like getting on a train or getting a lift from my mom or whatever. It's like it's weird for them to be coming here and having dinner and everything, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I think next time we do that, I'll in, probably get Vicky and Darcy around as well, dinner with the four of us, five of us, including Darcy. Um, or get like George and Soph round as well and have like a night, just get people round, a couple of drinks, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, get Amy and Kyle or like Soph and George to bring a Switch party games on the TV, you can do other stuff in this and just have fun with it, really. 
Um, but again, we'll see how it turns out. But, oh man, I'm tired. I'm better than I'm tired. So, I'm gonna chill, watch some YouTube videos, and then probably gonna hop on Apex with uh, Gaffer and Steely. So, oh, that was good, but I am stuffed. So full. So full. Uh, good few hours of gaming later. Uh, I did the night on Apex, helped off, played a little bit of COD on stream, and now I uh, just sat on Discord. Very silly. <sighs> Watching uh, boxing, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm making the end of the main card. I'm like half asleep in my chair already. Um. But yeah, I think I'm just going to end the video here before I fall asleep so I can edit it tonight and not have to stress about doing it in the morning. So uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for coming and hanging out today with the vlog as usual. I appreciate you all. Uh, it was a good day today. Rangers won the old firm. Ooh, 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 hold on. Ooh, come on. Come on. Come on. Kill him. Go on. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Ooh. Go on, go on. This is getting interesting. I was out showing the vlog, but now it's getting interesting. <laughs> Steely, she's laughing away with that one. Go on. Not gonna lie, both fighters in this fight have had about 10 chances each to probably end it. But, uh, none of them, none of them have took it. But, uh, anyway, it doesn't look like anything interesting there. There's a clinching, um, but yeah, so back to the outro guys, you guys know what it is by now, and if you don't, then let me show you. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, make sure to drop a subscription using that big shiny red subscription button down below. And we'll see you all tomorrow for the next daily vlog. Bye guys.